Previously on Skyblock Randomizer Nuzlocke. What is he? Why is he breakdancing? Why is he doing that? Sir. And now, the conclusion. Oh, would you look at that. We already got a couple of chickens here, which is pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, seems to be working. So now we just have to wait for more animals to spawn. And I guess I should get... Oh, well, I definitely have full inventory. But I should probably get, like, some... I think the chicken, I think they now eat the um, uh, seeds. So then I could uh, lure them into some other area where I could then eventually start the animal farm. But what I came to do is uh, I went to get some uh, pumpkins to make some um, uh, freaking jaguar lanterns so I can get some lighting going on over here because it would be kind of horrible in case zombies are able to uh, like spawn up there. So what I want to do is probably, I guess I'll dump some of these doors over here. I need to like start another chest or something, I don't know. I do not know. I need to get, I guess I can make the jack-o'-lanterns like right over here. I only need like maybe four of them. I think that should be good enough. Now I'm guessing I can still place them like over doors because you always need to place the jack-o'-lantern like on on top of something. Oh, and it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't work like this. So that's kind of slightly annoying, but what I could do... Hmm, what I could do... Is take off some blocks from here and you put like a block over there then I should like try and find that from up there so that's kind of a that's kind of a nuisance but then again what I could also do is take off some doors and then just put some blocks there and then replace that with the pumpkins so I think I'm just gonna keep playing around with this but these guys have already been breeding pretty well here and expanding our little village and I can also start taking this thing down. I think it started like right after I uh, took off the rest of the doors. It may have been infecting the infinite breeding loop, like having another house like nearby it, like over there or what is considered a house for the villagers. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna play around a bit with this and uh, put some lighting in there just so that I won't be getting any zombies spawning in here and uh, let me just get back up here so yeah I think what I'm gonna let me just do one with you guys and then do the rest like off camera but if I take this one off I guess I can afford to take you down do it like so and then place a jack-o'-lantern over there and just go down there all right and like so all right and then I'm gonna do the same thing like somewhere over here but let me actually take the door place it like so and probably I'll both of these are probably, I mean, only two of these are probably going to be enough to bring enough light, but I may just put some extra just in case, you know, it doesn't cost anything. So I'm going to put a few extra lights over here. And when I'm done with that, I will return and then I might also be checking on the animal farm, see how that goes. and. Uh, We'll start maybe moving some of those uh, ducks, I mean those freaking thingy macboars, those, those chickens, yes. We're gonna start moving them somewhere, so we'll go from there. Alrighty, I am back and I was checking on the time and we're kind of running short, but I still want to do at least this one little project and I have expanded this area 
behind the um, uh, behind uh, the uh, freaking portal, nether portal, and uh, I decided I'm gonna build like some sort of little fence area right here. And now let's go get some chickens. I would really like to get some pigs here, but I'm not really sure if that's gonna be happening today. Maybe I'll wait after this. And we got a bunch of eggs, so let's get these chickens. There we go. Hello. I believe there was like one chicken over there, but we shall see. We shall see. Oh, one of them already fell. Well, we only need two. Damn you, Mr. Chicken. Why did you have to fall, Mr. Chicken? Well, there has to be a Mr. Chicken, you know. Hopefully it's not going to be jumping to nether. Hello, hello, hello. All right. And then I can just fence you in. And hopefully there is still like one chicken because I thought there was like one back there. But like, wow, all of them like fell, but we should be able to get more. But apparently there is no more. Really? Well, that was a huge success, but at least animals spawn here. So that is all that matters. So I guess I'm gonna be just waiting more. What we could, however, try Maybe, just maybe, we have some eggs. So I'm just just gonna throw them on the ground. Like, I don't care. And, well, at least it's gonna be hatching eggs, so... I guess I can just, uh... Maybe I can get one, one out of these. Nope! Didn't get a single one, because there's a chance that you can get a chicken and just throw an egg on the ground. But no dice. So I'm gonna be waiting and see what kind of other animals can we get here. And after that, we are pretty much going to be ending up the episode. So see you guys in a moment. Welcome back, everybody. We are joined by a friendly neighborhood Mumu here. And actually, we had two of them just a moment ago, but one of them just fell. I didn't, like, I saw it. And then it just jumped off, and I was like, why, Mr. Mumu, why? But we're gonna get him here to the fence area. I got some more chickens. And we did have another, um, freaking whatchamacallit, sheep over there. And where are my fences? Over there. Oh, two of them escaped. Well, that doesn't really matter too much, and I'll just deal with them but uh, the hunt for the pig still continues so we will return in a moment holy cow man here is our second cow but please do not fall like the one before you so let's just go ahead and take this bad boy over here and i was checking on the time again and it's really looking like the best thing i'm probably what I can do is uh, make this into like two episodes, which shouldn't be too bad. But this will most likely then be up like on Sunday or perhaps Monday. I haven't really decided yet. But this uh, animal farm here is getting pretty small for these guys. No. <sighs> ah, damn it. They're escaping again. No. Mr. Mr. Momo. And then, then you, sir. Make the magic happen, but do not... Oh, goodness. I got some experience out of that. So, yeah, I'll have to do something. Did he... Mr. Mr. Momo, did you really travel to the... Yes, you did. You traveled to the nether. Okay, well, we can have one nether cow. It's... It's, it's cool, it's cool. But, uh... Let's go quickly and check out our uh, villager, our our village, and how our villagers are doing there. Because they have been doing a bit of uh, breeding, let me tell you. So uh, let's go check this out. It's actually uh, <laughs> pretty crazy. As you see, they have kind of again glitched through, and I was like. Screw it, let's just let them do their thing, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, we got a few guys over here, and I'm not sure if they're 
Yeah, I guess they are just glitching through. Bunch of guys over here, bunch of guys over here, bunch of guys over here. What are you trading? Ooh, I actually got one early, earlier that was for 11 emeralds, and this one is actually cheaper. I have one pickaxe. Yeah, over there, it was for 11. This guy didn't exist a moment ago, so that's kind of sad, but oh well. And this guy is still not trading anything, and even though this is locked, like he's not giving out any other trades, so that's kind of interesting. And some of them are like, yeah, glitching through and getting stuck on the walls because there are just simply too many of them. Eye of Ender, well, I don't really do anything with that. And now what I was, what I was kind of thinking is, maybe I should just build the Iron Golem farm, like maybe like behind the a little farm area that we got going on here and gotta say I'm not really sure on how the mechanics work but we are not having iron golems spawn here so I guess the infinite infinite uh, breeding loop thingy MacBower makes it so that these guys breed infinitely but then iron golems are not able to spawn. If some of you guys know how the mechanics work on that, I'll probably have to look on the wiki on that, but if you do happen to know, leave a comment below. And um, yeah, so I was thinking we could just make this into a general village area and then maybe move those, uh, some, some of the villagers over there like behind that, behind the uh, farm area. Or possibly over there where we are going to have our actual animal farm area. So that's a possibility. Either there or over there. But we can just set some uh, tracks over there. I can just... I do still have enough iron, I think, to make tracks all the way. And it doesn't matter. If I run out of iron, then I can still make those... Um, uh, I do still have gold, so I can make those uh, powered rails. So let me actually put these rails over there for now so I at least I have the uh, zombie pigment farm to get more gold from there and therefore I can make more tracks even if I would run out of iron which I don't think I this should be plenty because from one set you get 16 tracks so that's a thing so uh, anyways let's go quickly and check if we have anything spawned here maybe maybe not and if not, then I will just uh, AFK because I seriously, I want that pig. But yeah, we, we don't have anything. Let's go breed some of these guys. Maybe those cows. Would be cool to have a little cow over there. And I guess I could just push this chicken away. But where? Yeah, the other, go other cow is still in the nether. And I, I guess I could make the sheep breed again. There we go. Get a little baby sheep going on there. Can I get you to the nether? How would you like to go to the nether? Mr. Chicken or Mrs. Chicken. We don't have cocks here, so uh, we'll just have to settle with these chickens, which are still breeding. So that's the thing. But we got two chickens there, so that is all that matters. Actually, I guess I could make them Breed real quick. Now it's following me. Will you jump through? There we go. Haha, <laughs> I have a chicken in the nether. Hello there, chicken. Oh, there we go. It does want to breed. Hello. And you? Can I? There we go. Hello? There's your lovey dovey. Go meet your destiny. Are they stuck in the corner randomly I don't know okay well that's interesting well anyways I'm gonna just sleep real quick and then ooh there's a there is a zombie but it's gonna burn and there's a creeper because I wasn't really sure if the um, do I have a sword with me oh, of course I don't well this kind of sucks I wonder if I could lure the creeper to the nether and then when I would go there it would blow me up so that's not a good idea at all and Jason can't help me because he's stuck there but I wasn't really sure if the um, 
torches would interfere with the spawning of the animals because I seriously wasn't having like any spawns but even now the spawning is like really really slow so I don't really know what, what's going on with that but I decided to, I would just place the torches like on the sides like so but I don't think it's like helping at all and torches really shouldn't interfere with the spawning but I was like, it's not like I lose anything, except now we have a creeper over there. So that's kind of a bummer, but not too big of a deal. So anyways, I will uh, continue AFKing here and I will return when we get some freaking pigs. That's the only animal that I'm missing now. I want me some pigs. Oh, yes. We finally got some pigs here and this is about an hour later, so... Oh, about time I got me some pigs. So, I also took some carrots. So, let's go ahead, piggies. No, I do not want to lose. Not a single piggy shall be lost today. I'm just gonna, I guess I can just run now. All right, there we go, in pairs, piggies, in pairs. Just like in the first grade or in the, um, or, or in the, what is that grade school? What's this? called in English, like the grade before, you know, the first grade, the thingy, or the stuff when you go, when you take your little trip, then you go in pairs and it's all cool. But anyways, now I'm talking out of my ass. So, yeah, I, I don't think there's room unless I can, hmm, let me try if I put in a block over there, over there. And then, Mr. Piggy, Piggies, come here, Piggy, no, Piggy, why didn't you have to go to the nether? Could you follow me, like, over here? Yeah, uh, uh, there we go, there we go, yes, but now I got stuck myself, oh, crap, baskets. Well, I do have my fences over there. But this kind of sucks. I really wish I had some ender pearls, but we really can't go to the end to get those pearls. So yeah, just have to do it this way. And yes, perfect. Perfecto. We still got that one pig there at the nether, but that's cool. That is fine. And now we got all sorts of animals. I'm like Noah, except without the ark and stuff. And now what I should probably do is like separate these animals and I was checking on the time again and I'm gonna make this into like a two-part episode. It's really fun to talk about what I am going to do when you have already seen it because this will be the second part because I was checking on the time and it was like around I had 45 minutes worth of footage and I was like eh that's kind of, I don't want to make a 45 minute episode and I still got kind of, I still got some stuff to do like with the piggies so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make this into like two parts and uh, yeah, there we go, at least we got the pigs now so now I should like try and separate these guys somehow and also I was thinking since we do still have a bit more of time left since this is going to be a two part episode I was thinking we could potentially move some of those villagers over there because that was the plan. That was the thing that I was planning earlier and I do still have some fences so I could potentially like fence those guys in there and I do need to make like some sort of um, I need to separate oh there's another piggy who, who spawned there that's awesome that is pretty awesome I would take him to the nether, that could potentially be a thing, then have a friend, because I already got uh, two cows there. But I'm gonna try and move some of these guys to somewhere over, over there where the farm is, and oh man, I, I, there's just so freaking many of these villagers. Oh, just look at that, oh my goodness. Does anybody have like good deals? Probably not. I'm trying to look for some like regular villagers who would uh, trade like wheat because I have plenty of that. I'm kind of 
like already close to out of the paper or the uh, sugar canes because I've been trading so much with those uh, librarians or doctors as I like to call them. This guy likes books and speaking of books we could actually make them because now we do have access to leather which is awesome so we could we could actually make because there's that one task in Skyblock uh, where it says that uh, make bookshelves but that was like uh, that's actually something that you don't need to do because as of some update it was more difficult for cows to spawn and then like they don't necessarily spawn at your islands at all unless you know a certain chunk like I do I do went through some trouble and uh, found that chunk where uh, animals were able to spawn, although I'm not really entirely sure, because the animal mechanics are just really weird how they spawn, but there's apparently like, is it one in ten chunks when, where there are able to, where animals are able to spawn and stuff, but anyways, I'm kind of just rambling at this point, but still, animal, animal mechanics are weird, but we were able to get some, so that is pretty freaking awesome. Got an animal farm going on here, but uh, bookshelves, that's something that we could do now. And also potentially like some sort of, uh, I don't know if we could make like uh, some sort of automated uh, cow farm. That might be cool. But let me see. Just put down this iron. And put that over there. Get some more. Now I got almost of that almost a stack so we'll see how far that will uh, get me although I'm, I'm gonna need another stack because this is like about 60 blocks and then that's another 60 blocks so let me just go ahead and get that and then um, um, I will need to make some more sticks uh, let me actually make it, no, do it like this so that I, there we go, that's what I wanted. So that I will not fill my inventory but have one stack of sticks. Stick stacks, yes. Anyways, uh, right now, two, 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 two. there we go, and there we go. And that should be enough for, there we go, now I got almost two, almost two stacks, one missing, but then we got these powered rails, which we could also use, and I think I should, oh, now I need to, I'll just put the iron away, and take, oh wait, I took, Re picked up those sticks. So let me put those saplings there. And what else? Let's put the birch wood there and get the gold ingots. And of course, I need the redstone again. So there we go. I actually managed to buy some more. Let me actually just sleep real quick. I did some trading again with these guys. And now we have. Oh man, there's like so freaking many. There's probably like. At least a hundred of these guys by now. And they are still keeping on breeding because of the infinite breeding loop up there. And there we go. Lovey dovey. Everywhere. Did I see some hearts over there? Over here? Over here? Here? Oh man. Everywhere. Love everywhere. Ah. Anyways. So now. Let me get some extra powered rails. There we go. I should probably... Eh, I really like this new way of placing these items. So convenient. And I think 30 will be enough for now. So let me put away the redstone. And do I have a bunch of other useless stuff? I actually could make a few more redstone torches. That, that's probably... That wouldn't hurt. Let me actually... I want to make I want to make nine, so let's go with nine, and then put the re rest of the redstone away. And now, let's we'll start the road from here. There we go. Although I don't know, 
There's powered rails, I guess I could use them, but at the same time, like, it doesn't really matter because this is just flat ground, so I can just push them over and it doesn't really matter whether I have those powered rails or not, but I am definitely going to run out. Let me just go with powered rails for a bit and then switch out. We need to make a turn and... As far as I know, powered rails, they still don't make the little turn like this one. So there we go. Oh wait, need to take this one off. But this should still be enough, I hope. Let's just go with the powered rails. You know, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna pick this up anyways and use it. We need to use this with the iron golem farm thingy map forward because we need to make like separate cages. Everything is going smoothly. Alright, still 20 ish left. One missing there. So put that randomly there. Okay. Well, I could have them here, so I guess I could make. I guess I could make a few more because I may want to do like some sort of I may want to do put them like over here and be ready for the iron golem farm because that's what I'm planning to do is have it like over here and then just have that area there as a general general uh, village area where we can just you know have fun with villagers you know do the trading and uh, just goof around and potentially build like some sort of actual village area and maybe make some houses for them so they can be they can be happier over there but I need to expand this a bit and then make some sort of temporary fence thingy mac power over here like so but I am going to need a few more of the I guess I can I can always, I can already put the first one moving because yeah, I got the rails, rails going on already here. But I need to make a few more. I don't know, should I make a stack of the, uh, a stack of rails or whatever? But doesn't doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, we're gonna rip this whole thing down eventually, anyways. But let me get that iron again, and do do do. -do. Here's the iron, it's over there. Whoop, whoop. And let's get 16 and then probably 32. I'd say would be enough. It wasn't too far away. Let, well, let's just be safe. Doesn't matter. Because next time we are going to be getting a bunch of iron anyways. So there we go. And let me actually check one thing real quick and be back. Okay, and that was my hard drive saying that you are almost out of space and I definitely need to do like a little spring cleaning or something on my computer, but Fraps is like really eating the space. So yeah, I need to do something about that and free more space. I do have a bunch of old videos which I should remove from my computer anyways, but uh, yeah, in the meanwhile, I put a couple of these guys on the rails and we are going to be moving hello you guys don't you like to go together do i need to push you separately like this maybe if i put a little redstone torch over here maybe that would do something and if i put it like so there we go that should push them a little bit give a little boost except there is that. Whoop! There we go. Yep. No! Oh goodness, I I'm gonna go and pick him up in a moment. You see? Okay, I need a new new boost. New boost, new, new boost! There we go. I'm gonna just go back for the other guy and then return in a moment. Put that over there, and then we're gonna... Oh. Can I still continue this? Like so. There we go. Now he's back on the rails again. Back on the rails. So 
let me go like so and from here inconveniently to the area which the chunk hasn't loaded for some random reason let me just go ahead and push him but other than that we are going to be right about done for this episode so I'm gonna move this and the other guy back here and uh, then next time we can start working on the iron golem starting from somewhere around here so I'll need to expand this area but I'm gonna go and pick up the other guy real quick and then be back for the outro and ending all right we are back safe and sound these guys are now locked in here and I was not supposed to do that I thought I had the there we go fence selected let me get did he no he's just glitching out apparently um well that's interesting would that help did they glitch through uh okay i have no idea what happened but i guess I can always move them again if they really if they really glitch through. If you know what just happened, they see, still seem to be there. So maybe if I just log in, log out, it might help. But yeah, like they are there. But um, I don't I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna be ending this episode like right here. So thank you so much for watching. If you got suggestions for future ideas what I could do like with those an animals there for example leave a comment below but we got some good good things done here got the infinite breeding loop and all the different kind of animals over there which is great so um, that is something we we could potentially work on next time and everything seems to be back normal which is a great but uh, yeah next time we are most likely gonna be working on that iron golden farms farm but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens then. But uh, we, we still got some other things to do, especially with those animals. So uh, yeah, leave your comments uh, in the comment section below and I will check you guys next time. So thank you for watching. And until then, until next time, this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace.